Why is it I always end up in deep shit? I was on a case. I've got evidence against John Tucker, the Welsh Secretary. Remember him? That son of a bitch. He was gonna go down quicker than Jenny Coverdale. I think I was followed. But with my keen detective skills, I knew I lost him pretty easy. I got out of there quick before my ass got shot off. For the first time in my career, I left my gun behind. I got the evidence and managed to hand it over to Howard Johnson, a young politician in the Welsh Assembly who wants to nail John Tucker as much as me. Let's hope he makes that evidence stick. Kurt Burrito, P.I. I'm in bed. I'm all yours, Kurt. <sighs> Miss Jones, I want to make you come quicker than Christmas. Who can argue with that? <laughs> whoa, 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 Miss Jones, whoa! <sighs> Hello there. I was always good at my oral presentation, even at school. Just ask Mrs. Hollander. Oh, oh. She made a noise quite similar to, um... <coughs> I best be going. Hey, remember kids, if you want to be good at something, like me, practice. Practice always makes perfect. Oh yeah. The phone call came from an art student, Joanna Pittsburgh. Interesting. She says someone's stolen a piece of her artwork that she forgot to sign with her name. It's been exhibited in Kamarlin. It was time to get my faithful box of tricks. Yeah, you know I'm the master of disguise. Say hello to Jürgen, everybody. The art critic. You know, I always like this piece. You know, some people might say it's a little avant-garde. Some might say it's controversial. 
Mm, but some might say it's just a big pile of shit. There it was, bright as day. All I had to do was do an old Texas switch on it. <laughs> Let's see you try and sell this for 10 grand, asshole. Oh yeah! Meanwhile, across town, little did I know that fate was about to insert its unforgiving hand. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Don't worry, sir. After today, Kurt Burrito will be out of your life. I took the painting back to Miss Pittsburgh and waited for my reward. Little did I know she had more than cash on her mind. After a busy caseload, I decided to take a few days off. Chill, relax, uh, take care of this rash I seem to have developed after that art student. Don't ask. I decided to think about the future. Fate, destiny, all that kind of horse shit. I needed some advice, so I went to see the old man. I told him about seeing Miss Jones, Sally Jane Summers, and that art student, and that I've settled for Miss Jones and I'm going to ask her to marry me. When he asked about the stag do, I said the wood will organise it. Be careful this time. Remember Cleveland. Was it Latvia? A, a hundred lats. Throw in a bank of a snowstorm and you got a deal. Yep, I think it's about time I asked Miss Jones to marry me. No more messing around. Now all I gotta do is throw on my Sunday best and ask her. I just had to say goodbye to someone first. 
Someone who meant the world to me. Someone I was in love with. Uh, before she told me she used to be a man. I'll always love Simone. Wherever she is right now, I know she'll be watching over me. Anytime I'm in danger or anytime I'm um, uh, alone in the shower. Uh, yeah. I'll always love you, Simone. Goodbye. You had a great ass. So here we are, the moment of truth. I rehearsed this moment over and over in my head a million times. I imagined I'd be all dashing and heroic and maybe quote some sonnets or any other kind of emo romantic horse shit. But I figured the only way to ask Miss Jones is to just come up with it. Marry me. Yes. Well, if it isn't Dempsey and Hot Peace. How's it going, Sarge? I'm on official business, Kurt. Is this your gun? Yeah. Do you know Howard Johnson? Yeah. Sorry, kid. I'm arresting you for the murder of Howard Johnson. It's me, sir. He's history. Sorry, kid. Sorry too. Next time on Burrito PI. You've escaped. Relax, Miss Jones. It's a great disguise. Look, trust me, no one ever suspects the Arabs. Why can't you die, man? Oh. We're quads, you asshole. What? There's four of us. No shit. Look, he's been set up. We want to help him. Kid, please, no. Shut up! I told you I'd get you!